Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss two questions from the Zonal Informatic Olympiad 2020. Uh, I am doing these questions because these are a little bit good questions but uh, not too good. But uh, if you like more such videos, please tell me in the comment box and I will make more videos on it. So I will just do the top two questions and if you more want the rest two questions also, I will make the video on it also. But uh, like this video if you like my content okay so the first question statement states that the manhattan distance between two points a b and c d is given by this i hope you know manhattan distance so manhattan distance is just if you move in straight lines so if one point is here in a so there's a grid and you are here and the manhattan distance between this and this is this and this or this and this you just this is the shortest path in straight lines from the two, two points okay so the manhattan distance between a b and c d is a minus c plus b minus d okay now for example the manhattan distance between 2 3 and minus 7 is if you can find out the answer is 7 okay so given an integer s your task is to find out the number of points x y where both x and y integers such that the Manhattan distance between x and y and 0 and 0 is at most s. So you have to find out all the points in which the Manhattan distance between that point and 0 comma 0 is at most s. Okay. So now uh, there are three test cases given for you have to find out the answer for s is equal to 4, 10 and 23. And uh, if you find out the logic clearly you can do it. Okay. So let's do some logic building and then we'll add the code for it okay so if you want to find out let's assume for 4 so you have to find out for all the points so this is 0 comma 0 like just okay we'll start doing with 2 now this is the first point and it, Manhattan distance between this and other points is 0. Matlab, it means the Manhattan distance between 0, 0 and 0, 0 is 0. So this will also come into our picture. But it will come only 1. Okay. Now find all the points for which the Manhattan distance between this and uh, that x, y point is 1. Okay. So the Manhattan distance is actually x minus 0 mod plus y minus 0 mod which is equal to s which is 1 so if we remove 0 it is x mod plus y mod is equal to 1 so you have to find, find out all the points for which x mod and y mod is equal to 1 so they can be 0 1 and 1 0 okay and you can also change the signs you can also write 0 minus 1 or uh, like 0 1 or minus 1 0 okay so the Manhattan for s equal to 1 the answer will be this point and these four points so answer is 5 so I think so they are given for s equal to 1 and the answer is 5 I hope you understand this concept first so it means you can make a DP or uh, like an array for storing all the values and in the end you have to add up all the values but 0 comma 0 will only come in the first part and then you will calculate this way okay so you can observe that you can reverse sign only when there is a non-negative integer in everywhere it means 0 cannot do minus 1 flips but 1 can do flips so if you have 0 and 1 and 1 and 0 so this you can start a for loop from 0 to 1 and the rest number can be get because the total should be ex exactly equal to 1 so if we know that the first number is 0 we can get the second number should be 1 and if any one of them is non zero we can make them only one flip so the so the number can be 0 minus 1 or 0 1 but if both of them are different so suppose 1 and 2 and we have to find out for 3 then the number would be minus 1 2 and uh, 1 minus 2 1 2 and minus 1 minus 2 all of them has a manhattan distance of total of 3 i hope you understand so 
that's a simple logic we'll do what we'll do is for every point we'll fill this matrix like this array and we'll add because the answer is 4 for here and this one here so the answer is 5 for s equal to 2 so we'll find for s equal to 4 and 20 and 23 okay so now what we'll do is we'll iterate over one value for x equal to 0 till like for Manhattan distance of 1 we'll do from 0 to 1 and if we know 0 will we know total Manhattan distance we can find out why and if any one of them is 0 then we know the total possible combinations is 2 because only one can flip if both of them are non-zero then both can flip so answer is 4 and then we add total and we uh, increment our like dp okay you can write the code for it and uh, so what we'll do is we will input n Oh, sorry so we should actually make a dp array first because the maximum is 23 we can for the explanation purpose i make a dp of 100 just for the explanation and dp of 0 is actually 1 because my add distance of 0 there exists only 1.0 comma 0 and then input n So for loop i equal to 0 i i equal to actually 1 less than equal to n i plus plus then we have to find out the total for this manhattan distance do a for loop from j equal to 0 to j equal to this manhattan distance which is i for which you want to find out j plus plus so in which case if j is equal to 0 or j equal to i in both of these case total plus equal to 2 else total plus equal to 4 and we have to add this dp of i is equal to dp of i minus 1 plus total and the end just see out dp of n uh, there is no like compiler to check these codes but we can match the answers uh, which they have given okay so next question statement states that suppose you have a straight rectangle you have a rectangle sheet of length l and breadth p the dimensions are denoted by l and b uh, such that if L is even, you can fold it lengthwise and you can transform the paper to L divided by 2 and B. Okay. And if the and if B in e, B is even, you can fold it breadthwise to transform the sheet of paper uh, with length L and breadth B by 2 to like this. So I hope you understand you can fold this paper. Okay. So now, for example, starting with a sheet of this, you can first make this sheet this you fold this lengthwise and then fold this breadthwise and now you can also fold once again through lengthwise and now you cannot fold it so you have done four operations okay so the question statement states that you are given an integer s and your aim is to find two integers l and b you have to find l and b such that l plus b is less than s you have to find out l plus b which is less than s and you have to find out that the number of folding operations for this l and b is maximized so you are only given s you have to find out a pair l and b such that l plus b is less than s and for this pair the number of folding operations is maximized okay so as you can see for s equal to 4 these are the possible pairs possible 1 1 1 2 1 3 2 1 2 2 3 1 because the total is less than or equal to 4 and as you can see the maximum operations is 2 so you have to find out for these pairs like for these numbers
so we'll first check for 4 and the answer is 41 you can go on the official website and check the answer is 41 for this 4 okay so for the next question what we'll do is you have to find out a pair okay so you want to maximize our folding so to maximize the fold you want that both of the numbers for four Hundred till zero one till n this is j yeah so we want both of our numbers to be a pair like a two to the power of something because if we have the numbers to the power of something we can easily divide them uh, to the most extent as possible i hope you understand so okay 41 so you can also go on the official website and check like these answers are correct for 10 you can also check on this 21 yeah it's correct so you can go and check also there is no compiler so but i hope you understand the logic for this we want to find out two numbers such that both of them are power of 2 such that we can divide them both and so we want to find out the closest power of 2's and their, their sum should be less than equal to s so for like s equal to 4 the 2 power pair can be 2 2 and 4 0 but 0 is not possible so only this is allowed and as you can see in the answer this actually is the maximum one for 9 you can make 2 and uh, uh, what you can make 4 and you can 8 but you cannot go beyond the total sum should be less than equal to 9 so you can make 4 you can make 4 and 4 which is which will give the maximum answer and you can also make 4 2 these are the possible combinations and this will give the maximum answer so as you can see the answer will always be in a pair of 2 so you will iterate over 2 to the powers and then find out how many remaining we can so you can iterate over 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 and so on and then because you know the first number and you know the total maximum number you can obtain so that the total is s and you first take 2 to the power 1 which is 2 so the next number you can get is from s minus 2 only so you find out another number which is closest to s minus 2 but is a power of 2 and i hope then you will check whether this is the maximum global maximum possible if not continue our loop else yeah, we have found that so this will be more clear the code so you can use log base 2 which is which will help to find out the power of 2 because if we like just do log power of x power of log 2 power 2 power x it will x will find out the answer of x which is the closest number if we write it to the power of x what is the power we'll get okay so we will first take the input of n c n n and then we will find the global maximum which is equal to 0 first which is which means how many maximum fold we will do in the start then we will do from i equal to 2 i is less than equal to n i into equal to 2 because at each step we will multiply answer with 2 increment its power by 2 now 
find the total for this combination in which our first a because our first value is 2 and then become 4 so how many fold we can do with 2 it's log base log base 2 to the power of this i but we cannot directly do log base 2 so you have to do is log just do log base 10 so log base 10 up to the power of i divided by log base 10 to the power like 2 you put 2 in it this is log operations and then you will do a total in a then the rest, the rest number you want to find out is n minus i because the total s is n and we have first chosen one number which is i and now the rest number should be below b less than or equal to b so do the same with b which is int c is equal to log base b divided by log 2 and total plus equal to int of c and if this total is greater than the maximum which we have encountered then max c is equal to total and see out max c uh, the rest of the questions are also simple you can go through them they are on the official website uh, this question statement says that they are int and integers and the first you have to put them in a set such that if you take an integer n divided by 1 2 3 so on till n and push them all the integers in the set and find out the numbers distant number of integers in the set okay so let's do for 4 first because the, we know the answer is 2 3 for 4 the answer should be actually 2 I think so I'm doing something wrong here maxi maxi total is it uh, maxi less than equal to n Where am I adding to? Yeah, so you can just easily make a set and push all these numbers and just have to find out the size of the set. That's it. This question is also this question is a little bit interesting. So you can go through this question uh, in which they have to find out two cutoffs for two sets and find out the best possible value of x plus y. Okay, for 4, the answer is 2. And uh, you can see that the answer for s equal to 9 is 4, which is for 8. The possible is 4 and 4, which when divided leads to 4 operations. So I hope you understand both the logics and questions. If you still have any doubts and requests, please mention in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.